red spot. This video will show you how to remove the motherboard on a Latitude E6420. Slide the latches over and lift the battery out. Remove the four hard drive screws. Slide the hard drive out of the laptop. Press the latch and remove the optical drive. Remove the two keyboard screws. Remove the five base cover screws. Lift the base cover off of the laptop. Remove the 10 bottom palm rest screws that are marked with a P or a P1. Separate the clips and remove the memory. You will repeat this for both memory sticks. Unplug the fan. Remove the five heat sink screws. Remove the heat sink and fan. Turn the CPU locking screw counterclockwise approximately 180 degrees to unlock the CPU. Lift the CPU away from the motherboard. Unplug the wireless antenna cables. Remove the wireless card screw. Remove the wireless card. Unplug the CMOS battery. Unplug the speakers. Remove the two screws. Remove the LCD cable bracket. Unplug the LCD cables. Turn the laptop over and open it up. Using a flathead screwdriver, carefully pry up the bezel from around the keyboard. Remove the four keyboard screws.
Carefully lift the keyboard up. Unplug the keyboard cable and remove the keyboard. Remove the two top Palmer screws. Unplug the palm rest cables. Carefully unsnap and remove the palm rest from the base. Unplug the DC jack cable. Unplug the smart card reader. Unplug the volume control Wi-Fi catcher switch. Remove the express card blank. Remove the express cage screws. Remove the express card cage. Remove the SD card blank. Remove the three motherboard screws. Remove the motherboard. Place the motherboard into the base. Make sure the cables are not pinched. Plug the motherboard into the daughter board by pressing down over the connection. Replace the top two motherboard screws. Make sure the speaker cable isn't pinched. Replace the lower motherboard screw. Replace the SD card blank. Replace the express card cage. Replace the express card cage screws. Plug in the volume control Wi-Fi catcher switch. Plug in the smart card reader. Plug in the DC jack. Snap the palm rest onto the base. Plug in the two palm rest cables. Replace the two top palm rest screws. Plug in the keyboard cable. Slide the top of the keyboard into the palm rest and snap the keyboard into place. Replace the four keyboard screws. Starting at the bottom, snap the bezel in around the keyboard. Close the laptop and turn it over. Plug in the LCD cables.
Replace the LCD cable bracket and secure it with the two screws. Plug in the speakers. Plug in the CMOS battery. Replace the wireless card and secure with the screw. Plug in the wireless antenna cables. Place the CPU into the socket on the motherboard. Turn the locking screw clockwise approximately 180 degrees to lock the CPU. If necessary, use alcohol to clean the CPU and reapply thermal compound. Clean and replace the heatsink fan. Replacing thermal pads may be necessary. Replace the heatsink screws in the order listed on the heatsink. Plug in the fan. Place the memory into the slots at a 45 degree angle, then press down until the memory clips into place. Replace the two P1 screws. Replace the eight bottom palm rest screws. Replace the base cover. Replace the five base cover screws. Replace the two keyboard screws. Slide the optical drive into the laptop. Slide the hard drive into the laptop. Replace the hard drive screws. Place the battery into the laptop. Press the battery down until it locks into place. View the video description below for links to replacement parts. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for choosing Parts People for your video tutorials.